It's time we manifest financial success for ourselves. These days, we're breathing and eating money all day. Except, what if there was a way Midas' golden thumb wasn't just folklore? Well, we've got 10 money rules for financial success. These rules will help pivot your focus in the right direction. So are you ready to be the next Warren Buffett? Let's go. Rule number one, never spend money before you earn it. Here's an important rule to kickstart your journey. Never spend money before you earn it. It might sound like common sense, but trust us, it's a game changer. Imagine this scenario. You're excited about that shiny new gadget you've been eyeing for a while. It's tempting to whip out your credit card and make the purchase right away, thinking you'll pay it off later. But hold on a second. Ask yourself, have I actually earned the money to cover this expense? If the answer is no, then it's time to put that card back in your wallet. So how can you put this rule into action? Here are a few simple tips. Start by tracking your income and expenses. Know exactly how much money you have coming in and where it's going. More so, differentiate between your wants and needs. You need to pay rent, but you want a channel bag. Life is full of surprises, and some of them come with a hefty price tag. Set aside a portion of your income for emergencies, so you won't have to rely on credit cards or loans when unexpected expenses arise. Rule number two. Money doesn't change people. It shows who they really are. We've all heard the saying, money changes people. But let's take a moment to challenge that notion. In reality, money doesn't have magical powers to transform individuals. Instead, it has a way of revealing their true colors. When it comes to money, people tend to show their true selves. Think about it for a second. When someone comes into a windfall, whether it's a lottery win or a sudden inheritance, their behavior tends to amplify. If they were kind and generous before, they'll likely continue to be so, but on a larger scale. On the other hand, if they have a tendency to be selfish or greedy, their newfound wealth will magnify those traits. When money enters the picture, it reveals what people prioritize in their lives. Some may choose to invest in experiences, education, or helping others, while others might focus solely on material possessions or personal gain. Money exposes where our true interests lie. Rule number three, don't chase money. Instead, be a money magnet. When it comes to wealth and financial success, there's a powerful shift in mindset that can make all the difference. Instead of chasing after money, become a money magnet. Rather than desperately running after every dollar, focus on attracting abundance into your life. Here's how you can become a magnet for money. Cultivate an abundance mindset, which means believing that there is more than enough wealth and opportunities to go around. Instead of solely focusing on making money, shift your attention to creating value. Find ways to solve problems, meet needs, or offer something unique to others. People folk to people for solutions, and if you can add value to their lives, they'll seek you. And when you become an expert in your field, you become a sought-after resource and people are willing to pay a premium for your services or products. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals who inspire and motivate you. Build a strong network of people who are successful and share your values. Remember, being a money magnet is not about being greedy or chasing money for its own sake. Rule number four, read books about finance. Reading books about finance is an excellent way to expand your knowledge and improve your financial literacy. Whether you're a beginner looking to learn the basics or a seasoned investor aiming to refine your strategies, books can be valuable resources. Here are some recommended finance books that can help you on your journey. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. This classic book challenges conventional wisdom about money and provides insights into building wealth. It emphasizes the importance of financial education and acquiring assets that generate income. The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. In this book, Ramsey outlines practical steps to get out of debt, save money, and build wealth. He offers a step-by-step -step plan for managing personal finances and achieving financial freedom. The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. Regarded as a timeless investment guide, this book explores the principles of value investing. It teaches readers how to analyze stocks, make informed investment decisions, and adopt a long-term approach to wealth creation. If you're interested in any of these books, you can find the links to them in the description below. Happy reading, and may your journey to financial enlightenment be fruitful. Rule number five, invest time before you invest money. When it comes to building wealth and making smart financial decisions, there's a crucial principle to remember. Invest time before you invest money. Before you dive headfirst into any investment or financial opportunity, take the time to educate yourself and do thorough research. Knowledge is power. Understanding the basics of investing, risk management, and financial planning will help you navigate the complex world of finance with confidence. Taking the time to assess and understand the risks associated with an investment opportunity is crucial. By conducting thorough due diligence, you can identify potential risks and make informed decisions that align with your risk tolerance. 
By dedicating time to research and staying informed, you'll be better equipped to identify investment opportunities that align with your financial goals. This includes understanding market trends, evaluating potential returns, and assessing the long-term viability of an investment. Sadly, the financial world is not immune to scams and fraudulent schemes. By investing time in learning and staying informed, you'll be able to spot red flags, avoid potential pitfalls, and protect yourself from falling victim to financial scams. Here's to hoping your decisions are always well informed. Rule number six, a right partner equals zero troubles. When it comes to financial success, the influence of your partner cannot be underestimated. Let's explore why the right partner can make you rich and the wrong partner can make you poor. A compatible partner shares your financial goals and values. When you both have a common vision for the future, it becomes easier to work together towards building wealth. Building wealth is often easier when you have a partner to share the financial burdens with. Expenses such as housing, utilities, and other shared costs can be divided, allowing you to save and invest more effectively. On the other hand, a partner who is financially irresponsible or has conflicting money values can hinder your progress towards financial success. If your partner constantly overspends, accumulates debt, or fails to contribute to shared financial responsibilities, it can lead to significant financial strain. Having conflicting money values even makes taking a joint decision feel burdensome. If your partner engages in unhealthy financial habits such as gambling, impulsive spending, or financial secrecy, it can negatively impact your financial stability and future. It's important to note that choosing a partner solely for their financial status is not the key to happiness or success. Instead, focus on finding a partner who shares your values and supports your goals. Rule number seven, pay off your debts. Carrying debt can weigh you down financially, limit your opportunities, and prevent you from reaching your financial goals. Begin by focusing on debts with high interest rates, such as credit card debts or personal loans. Paying them off first will save you the most money in interest payments. Establish a realistic budget that allows you to allocate a portion of your income towards debt repayment. Track your expenses, identify areas where you can cut back, and direct those savings towards paying off your debts. Two popular debt repayment strategies are the snowball and avalanche methods. The name for both methods speak for themselves. The snowball method prioritizes balances, that means you start off with paying off the smallest debts to the highest you owe. And the avalanche method prioritizes paying off debt with the highest interest rates. Choose the method that aligns with your preferences and motivates you to stay on track. Consider ways to increase your income, such as taking on a side gig or freelancing, to accelerate your debt repayment. Any additional funds can be directed towards paying off debts more quickly. If you're struggling with overwhelming debt or finding it difficult to create a repayment plan, consider seeking guidance from a financial advisor or credit counselor. They can provide personalized advice and strategies to help you manage your debts effectively. Rule number eight, have a plan for worst case scenarios. It's important to protect yourself and your family by securing sufficient life cover and income protection cover. Unexpected and life-altering events such as early death or permanent disability can happen to anyone. Even if you have excellent money management practices in place, these events can have a tremendous impact on your family's financial well-being. Life insurance or life cover is an excellent investment that offers great value for money. It's surprisingly affordable, especially for younger individuals. By obtaining life cover, you provide financial security for your loved ones in the event of your untimely passing. If you're self-employed or a business owner, it's crucial to consider how you would sustain your income if you were unable to work due to illness, accident, or disability. Income protection cover can provide a safety net by replacing your lost income during such circumstances. Taking the proactive step of obtaining life cover and income protection cover is a responsible decision that demonstrates your commitment to the financial security and well-being of yourself and your family. By securing these types of insurance, you provide yourself with peace of mind, knowing that you are prepared for the unexpected and that your loved ones will be financially supported during challenging times. Rule number nine, spend less than you earn. If you aspire to achieve financial stability and long-term prosperity, there's a fundamental principle that you must embrace, spend less than you earn. Here are a few practical tips to help you spend less than you earn. First up, developing a budget. You've likely been given this advice numerous times, but it has potential. You can sort your money based on your necessities, savings, and miscellaneous costs. Stick to it and avoid overspending. Prioritize your needs over wants. Distinguish between essential expenses, such as housing, utilities, and groceries, and discretionary expenses that can be reduced or eliminated. Reflecting on your own habits helps. If you list your expenditures on an Excel sheet, you'll be able to visit it and review your habits. You might realize there are areas you could save. And practice patience and avoid impulsive purchases. 
Consider implementing a waiting period before making significant purchases to ensure they align with your long-term financial goals. Look for cost-effective alternatives without compromising quality. This can include comparing prices, buying in bulk, shopping for deals, or exploring secondhand options. Remember, spending less than you earn is a mindset and a habit that requires discipline and conscious decision-making. Finally, rule number 10. Money won't solve all your problems. While money can provide a sense of security and open doors to opportunities, it's important to recognize that it won't solve all your problems or guarantee happiness. Money cannot directly address emotional well-being and mental health. While financial stability can alleviate certain stressors, such as meeting basic needs and reducing financial worries, it doesn't automatically bring happiness, inner peace, or fulfillment. More so, nurturing relationships, engaging in self-care, and pursuing personal growth are vital for emotional well-being. Money alone cannot provide a sense of meaning and purpose in life. Fulfillment often stems from pursuing passions, contributing to society, and making a positive impact in the lives of others. Finding purpose goes beyond financial achievements and requires introspection, self-discovery, and aligning your actions with your values. And these are some of the best ways for you to find yourself on a path of success in the world of financial gains. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.